Hello and welcome back to the What Would Way today as I preview the massive, absolutely massive trip to Wales against Swansea City. And the reason it's massive is not particularly where Watford are in the league. It's because we've lost a massive player in terms of the season and how we play going forward. And that player is, of course, Zhao Pedro. And I know you're playing Swansea and I know you're probably expecting me to talk about Swansea. But that is really the big news this week. Obviously, Watford have just come off the back of a terrible defeat against Millwall. I was there the day after Christmas. I was very happy. I was full of food. I was ready to watch a good, uh, fun Watford, Watford performance full of goals. And what did we get? We got a 2-0 defeat where the players really looked lackadaisical, lazy. As Myla Sarr didn't want to be there. No one really wanted to be on that pitch of Watford. And again, Millwall liked the game earlier this season where they beat us 3-0. They physically dominated us. Um, they wound us up. Hassan Kamara got sent off, um, rightly so, for a stupid... Um, I don't really know what he did. He kind of shoved the Millwall player. Obviously, the Millwall player then fell down, made the meal out of it. But it was stupid regardless. Um, so we missed Kamara for four games. João Pedro, our most important player, um, is out for what looks like is going to be a very, very long time. I'll discuss that in just a second. Um, but before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Again, as a late Christmas present to me, if you haven't already, a subscription to the Watford Way would be much appreciated. Please like the video as well and let me know your thoughts going into the Swansea City game in the comment section below. But yes, as I said, I think we should start, um, you know, with the big news this week, and that is Joao Pedro. Now, as I record this video, I'm yet to hear from Slavan Bilic in his pre-match press conference. I'm sure we might learn a bit more about Pedro's injury then. He was photographed actually after the game, um, walking out of the stadium in kind of like a protective um, boot around his ankle, obviously to protect it and make sure the swelling um, doesn't get any worse. And obviously, if it is a bad injury, you don't want to aggravate that further. So that's obviously why João Pedro was wearing the boot after the game. But it's really, really concerning, actually. I think João Pedro has carried Watford over the last few weeks. Yes, um, we won on an OK run under Slavan Village. I think we picked up them four clean sheets in a row. And João Pedro really carried Watford um, in them games. Obviously, he scored the two goals against Huddersfield. And, you know, I think maybe he covered over the cracks, potentially. Um, obviously, the injuries in midfield as well haven't helped. So Watford really um, are in a very, very concerning position. I've got the championship table here just beside me. Burnley are currently sitting on 50 points after 24 games. Watford are on 37 points. Watford are actually as close to the relegation zone as we are to top of the table Burnley, which is extremely concerning. The Sheffield United as well are currently themselves sitting on 47 points, 10 points ahead of Watford. So actually, the race for promotion is really heating up. I didn't realise until a couple of days ago how close the championship table is. Um, and I am starting to get worried because obviously with the loss of João Pedro, we've got no midfielders really apart from Leandro Bacuna and Tom Deli Bashiri. Um, and our defence isn't really that great either. Um, I'm starting to get worried where if Watford go on a run of two, three, four games with some really poor results, um, we could drop right down the league table, which isn't good. It is not good at all. Yes, we've obviously gone out early and we've purchased Ismail Kone from Montreal over in the MLS. He's a new midfielder joining in January. We've got Matthias Martins, the young Brazilian forward, joining in January. He can play on the wings as well. However, I think we need experience. I think Watford need to go out, splash some of that Premier League money, the parachute payments that we get for playing in the Championship after recently being relegated from the Premier League. We need to splash the money we've got, not on ridiculous players like Raymond I, Vacuum Bio. Um, you know, some of the transfer decisions we've made over the past couple of seasons have been baffling. We need to go out and get experienced Championship players I would actually say, you know, go and look at some of the best teams in the championship. Reading, QPR, Millwall have some fantastic players, Burnley, Blackburn, whoever it is, and go and poach their best players. Because ultimately, for me anyway, I'm in panic stations now. Watford could quite easily finish this season in the middle of the championship. It might not even achieve playoffs. I really hope we will, and the quality of the championship 
isn't that great. So I would hope with the quality that we supposedly have in our squad, we would finish in that top six. But I am starting to get worried now. And going into the Swansea City game, yes, they've not been doing great themselves this season, but I think they're only five points behind us in the table, which again is so, so concerning. So for me, the Swansea City game, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think for me, it's all about how long uh, you know, João Pedro is out for. We're going to have to put a makeshift team together. We're going to have to hope Leandro Bakuna steps up, Tom Deli Bashuri. We need some leadership. You know, imagine if Troy Deeney was in the swap team at the moment. He wouldn't let any of this nonsense happen. He'd be right on the players. He wouldn't have let us, you know, slip to that 2 0 defeat against Millwall. He, he wouldn't have taken it. We, we're lacking, I think, for me, a leader. I know Craig Cathcart. Um, and Tom Cleverley are kind of the leaders in the group. They've been at the club the longest, but Tom Cleverley is out injured and can't really influence um, the match day squad, if you will. And Craig Cathcart, I was watching him against Millwall. He's not a vocal leader. He may lead in terms of his performances and his defensive qualities, but he's not a vocal leader. So I think for me, we are lacking that person, you know, in the Watford change room, who's going to scream, shout, demand more from the players. So... As I just said, I think in January, we have to go out and bring in some more experienced players. Let me know your thoughts about the Swansea City game in the comments section below. I'm going to do a score prediction. However, I really don't know what to expect. We've just lost 2-0 to Millwall. We've come off the back of four consecutive clean sheets. Then they put in that dreadful performance on Boxing Day. I really don't know what to expect. Swansea fans, let me know what to expect from your team in the comments section below as well. I'm going to go with a 1-1 a draw. I don't think Watford really have the capability to go and win games at the moment. I think it's really panic stations now until the January transfer window is open. So I'm going to go 1-1 in this game and just hope that in January we can really push on, get some players through the door and hopefully finish in the playoff spots. Because at the moment, as I sit here with the, pre with the championship table to the right of me, um, I don't think we're going to catch Sheffield United or Burnley. I think it's going to be a really, really difficult task. Um, and actually, I think we've just got to aim for the top six playoff places now. Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Apologies for bringing the mood down slightly in this video, but I feel like I have to get that off my chest um, and relay uh, my thoughts to you guys here on YouTube. So as I mentioned earlier, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please comment your thoughts on Watford's season and the upcoming game against Swansea down below. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.